हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ए वाई टी इंडिया अकेडमी टू पॉइंट ओ विच इज़ बेसिकली मैंट फॉर द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज व्यूअर्स वी आर आल्सो हैविंग अनदर चैनल कॉल्ड ए वाई टी इंडिया अकेडमी विच इज़ बेसिकली मैंट फॉर द हिंदी लैंग्वेज सब्सक्राइबर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी मोर देन वन के सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑन दैट चैनल सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैनल इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एज वेल so that english viewers can also get the knowledge related to the lean manufacturing tpm quality system maintenance system production system which will help them to grow in their life and implement systems in their existing units as well so in this video we will cover what are the kpis and quality objectives benefits of kpi how to monitor kpis and we will also discuss uh, excel format in which we have covered more than 50 kpis itself from different departments so without wasting any further time we will move towards our main topic that is kpi friends we will first understand the meaning of kpi basically the full form of kpi is key performance indicators it means that the performance indicators through which we can assess the success of any organization or individual meeting its target or not it means that suppose we want to check is the production department is functioning well or not so what is the parameter for that we should have some database to monitor that so so that database is called kpi it is quantifiable measures it means that always they will be quantified like 10% rejection down ppm should be less than 500 ppm so all these will be in quantity so to monitor the performance of any organization or any individual or any specific department we monitor or we create the kpis now what are the benefits of kpi basically kpi provide us the insight into the performance and it helps us in decision making it means that we can identify areas for improvement suppose our sales is continuous going downwards or it is stable for last 6 month so we can take decision to hire more people to add more customers to start our business at more locations so all these decisions can only be taken if we have the right data set so that data set is called kpi now how we can implement the kpis for implementing the kpis we should have clear objectives selecting the relevant messages establish the data collection process perfectly it means we should have clear in mind what are the objectives we are trying to achieve through kpis how we will collect the data that is the most important thing how we will collect the data it means data collection method should be clear enough should be systematic so that is a easy data can be collected easily very easily if we don't have such things we cannot implement the kpis i have seen so many companies who have started implementing kras and kpis but stopped in between after 2 months 3 months because the data they were collecting was not okay or data collection started but stopped after some time so data collection is very important in implementing the kpis or key performance indicators in any manufacturing unit one more thing i would like to discuss with you why we need kpis as we know mr peter drucker has said if you can't measure it you can't manage it it means if you don't have the data then you cannot improve anything for example if my bp is going high it means it is going towards 180 90 but 
I don't have any data. What is my BP for last three months or last three weeks? Then how the doctor or I can take the decision to control my BP blood pressure. Similarly, if you don't have the data for rejections for production and OE breakdowns, then we cannot improve anything or manage anything. It means everything is in air or sab kuch hawa mein. Without data, we cannot take any decision. This is the main reason of MSMEs. MSME honors bond to implement the KRA and KPIs, but they cannot implement or they struggle to implement because they don't have the right data set or they don't have the method for collecting the right data. So data collection is very, very important in any organization. Now we will have some look for different department KPIs. First, we will start with manufacturing. In manufacturing, there are several KPIs. OEE means overall equipment. Effectiveness is one of them. Then ability, then performance. FTR is first time right. It means that what percentage of product I am preparing exactly okay on the one go or first go. Then MTTR, mean time to repair and mean time between failure, capacity utilization. Some HR KPIs are absenteeism rate, accident rate, kaizens, training hours and attrition rates. At what rate employees are leaving the organization. This KPI plays very important role in any organization growth because if the employees are not getting stable in any organization then that organization can't grow easily because people are very important for any organization growth some quality kpis are in process ppm final ppm customer ppm customer complaint and customer rating or feedback now we will have the look on our kpi monitoring sheet which is automated kpi monitoring sheet it means we, you have to enter the data at one place. The graph will generate automatically. So you can see the data in graphical mode. Your management can see the data in graphical mode. And you can also display those graphs on your KRA, KPI monitoring station or areas or your at a glance area. First, we will discuss all the headings of the sheet. Then we will move towards the excel sheet as you can see clearly here first column is serial number it means it is kpi number then the department here is just like sales marketing then performance indicators for sales marketing it's like growth in sales and on time delivery then effective measure at what interval we will measure the data set yearly it will be measured sorry it is written uh, wrong here it will be measured through erp or software then unit is crores in rupees and the frequency is reviewed monthly and target is yearly then status of target and actual this is for last year last year target was 15 cr and we have achieved 14.44 cr then the target for current is 18 cr uh, as of now, we have completed 12.33 CR. Then the monitoring is on monthly basis, April, May, June, July, August, September, August, October and November till March 24. We are taking financial year 23-24. So this sheet will work for 12 months now we will move towards the excel sheet actual excel sheet for which you are waiting for so long time this is the actual automated sheets created by avit business solutions or avit india academy both are our own companies here we can see again the serial number department performance indicator effective measures unit frequency status 2022-23-23-24 then all 12 months of current financial year here we have created almost 45 kpis 
including all departments hr purchase quality then production maintenance mr service sales and marketing so how does this sheet works uh, we have link all the parameters to a separate sheet suppose we want to see the sales just we have to click the sales uh, then we will go to our separate sheet where the graph will generate automatically and we have uh, created a review mechanism for the top management like KPI month, date of review by management, issue for not achieving the target, root cause, action taken, target date, responsibility, review command, status. So it has 12 months data set and this data is linked to the our main sheet. Suppose we want to go to our main sheet, just we need to click to back to main sheet and we will return to the main sheet. Here as we can see the current Sale for the month of April 2023 is 2 CR. Now we will change it to 5 CR for checking is it okay or not. Now as we have uh, changed the data to 5 CR, the graph will generate it automatically 5 CR. Here is data is also, also reflecting automatically. That is the beauty of this sheet. Everything is connected to the each parameter KPIs. Here we have implemented or created all the sheets related to the KPIs. Now we will one by one just uh, roll on or discuss the KPIs of different departments. First one is sales marketing. Sales marketing is for uh, growth in sales and on time delivery. Then for service it is to reduce customer complaints, customer service rating or feedbacks. MR is to conduct monthly MRM or to conduct yearly MRM. Basically, this sheet which we are say, uh, saying is for meant for the monthly MRM. If we do the MRM on yearly basis, then the gap will be so long, decisions can't be taken. So, it should be measured, the key performances or KPIs should be measured on monthly basis and should be reviewed monthly basis. If we create such a simple sheet that all the parameters are coming into one single sheet, then the management top management or MD can be reviewed all the company data set in one or two hours and decisions can be taken easily, very easily because we have all the data of previous year, current year, what was the target and what we have achieved so far and the month on month data set is also there. Let's move again to our topic. Uh, for maintenance production, we have created machine breakdown time, number of breakdowns, MTTR, MTBF, machine preventive plan was actual, OE ratio, ability ratio, plant capacity utilization. For quality, we have created first time right for in process fitting or assembly, first time right for final assembly, in house rejection PPM, final rejection PPM, customer rejection PPM cost of poor quality, warranty failures, instrument calibration, plan versus actual, third party testing for quality and safety. Then is purchase, store inventory, physical audit, system, raw material inventory value, FG inventory value, supplier rating, supplier audit plan. Then for HR admin, it is training plan versus actual. Here, as you can see, all the parameters are being monitored on monthly basis. Okay. Employee reward and recognition, CSR policy, compliances, monthly 5S audit score, mock drill plan, EHS and safety audit, waste management data, electricity consumptions, electricity consumption in KWH and KVH, electricity consumption in rupees. So everything is calculated on in terms of money as well. Electricity consumption in terms of sales, solar energy generation, solar energy generation in units. So as we see uh, solar energy generation, we want to see what are the units generating month on month basis. Just we need to click here and we will move on to the main side or single side, slide or single sheet of the solar energy generation. As we can see here, some uh, in the month of July, the unit generation goes below because in these months, it was the rainy season. Okay. Then November, then again fall in December because due to the winter season in Delhi. So decisions can be taken easily on the graphical mode, very easily. Then PNG gas generation, sorry, consumption, PNG consumption in rupees, PNG consumption in terms of sales, new developments per month, number of parts, 
edit because without adding new parts we cannot add or increase our sales or customer base then hr number of improvements and kaizen so we have created a single sheet for the whole unit so just you need to enter your data and the sheet will work like a magic so there are two options one option is that you can create this sheet just by seeing our video because we have described everything very simply very easily or one more method is that if you want to get this ready made sheet just you need to visit our training portal that is www.learn.aytindia.com or you can download our app from google play store here you will see a course name automated kpi excel sheet with graphs ready to use kpi sheet mm and mrm format in this you will get seven documents or seven contents in which there are three videos and four formats so all these things included in this course hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you have come for the first time and not subscribed for the channel please do subscribe and please share the videos with your friends and colleagues so that video can be seen by so many of numbers and youtube can increase the reach of this video we will be keep bringing such type of content on regular basis this one channel as well thanks see you again